Hello, today I have another great recipe for sourdough soft pretzels. So, here we go! To start this easy recipe, measure 450 grams or 358 cups of bread flour. Add 225 grams or 1 cup of water and 100 grams or a third of a cup of sourdough started at 100% hydration. Mix the ingredients well with a dough whisk or a silicone spatula. Then use your hands to incorporate all the flour until no dry spots remain in the dough. Cover with a towel and let the dough rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, add 9 grams or half a tablespoon of salt and 45 grams or a quarter of a cup of butter at room temperature cut into small pieces. Knead with your hands inside of your bowl to incorporate all the ingredients. You can also make this recipe in a stand mixer, but today I am making it by hand. This dough is not very wet, so it is not hard to knead it by hand. Take the dough out of the bowl and keep kneading it on your working table. Knead for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the dough is soft and elastic. You can test your dough by stretching a piece of it. This dough is almost ready. So I'm gonna keep kneading it for a couple minutes more. In the end, make a ball and poke it in the middle. It will spring back up if it's ready. Place the dough in a bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. I am placing my dough in my dough proofer to ferment at 86 degrees. You can let your dough proof in a warm place for about 4 hours. After 4 hours take the dough out of the proofer and place it on a working table. Fold it in four and press it to degas the dough. Divide it in eight equal pieces. Then make eight balls of dough, making sure to let the dough be tense enough. Cover with a towel and let the dough rest for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, shape the pretzels. Roll the dough into a 20 inch or 50 centimeter lock. Cross the streams into the middle. Then cross them again and attach the extremes to the dough. Repeat the same process for the remaining pieces of dough.
Cover with a towel and let the pretzels rest for about 2 hours. After 2 hours, place the pretzels in the fridge for at least 2 hours or 30 minutes in the freezer. Now prepare a light solution with sodium hydroxide. I will leave a link in the description where you can buy this food grade sodium hydroxide. It is extremely important to be careful when you use this product because it can cause severe chemical burns or poisoning if not used properly. Please make sure to buy the food grade sodium hydroxide. We use sodium hydroxide to get the characteristic color, a better chewiness and the traditional flavor that pretzels have. It is safe to use when it is diluted at the rate that we will use it today. If you prefer to use a substitute, you can bring baking soda and 9 cups of water to a boil in a large pot and drop 1 to 2 pretzels into the boiling water for 20 to 30 seconds. So to start, make sure to always use a pair of gloves and protective glasses. In a glass bowl, pour 1000 grams or 4 cups of water and 30 grams of sodium hydroxide with a disposable plastic spoon. Never add water to sodium hydroxide. Always add sodium hydroxide to the water. Dissolve the light in the water with caution. Then add the pretzels to the water and let them soak for 20 seconds. Then place them in a prepared tray with parchment paper. After you are done, make sure to dispose of the light water solution. Put it down the drain or check the regulations in your state to dispose of the light water properly. Now, cut your pretzels with a bread knife and add salt crystals. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius and place a hot cast iron with boiling water in the base of the oven to generate steam as you are baking. Place your baking trays in the oven and let the pretzels bake for 20 minutes or until they are golden brown. In the meantime, prepare your favorite dipping sauce. I am making a cheese and mustard sauce to accompany my pretzels. Place two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of flour in a pan at medium heat. Cook the flour well and when it starts to bubble, add a cup of hot whole milk. a cup of grated cheddar cheese and a tablespoon of spicy mustard add salt and pepper to taste. You can also add jalapenos or any spicy element that you prefer to give this sauce a little extra kick of flavor. Get the pretzels out of the oven and wait for about 5 minutes before trying them. I'm sure that you're gonna love eating them with this amazing cheese sauce. I really hope you can make this recipe. These pretzels are delicious. If you can't subscribe, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.